celebrate today the Feast of St. Bartholomew, one of the apostles. We praise God in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. Each of us called to mind of sin. Jesus, you are mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You're a son of God, son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You're the word that took our very flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And because Bartholomew is apostle, we give God praise, saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And we pray, O oh God, strengthen us. The same faith by which St. Bartholomew, the Apostle, clung wholeheartedly to your Son. He granted, through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all nations the sacrament of salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me saying, come here. I will show you the bride, the wife of the lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain <coughs> and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stones as its foundation on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends and make, make known, known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends, friends make, make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Philip found Nathanael and told him, we, we found the one about whom Moses wrote, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said, come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, here. The true child of Israel. 
There's no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, well, how do you know me? Jesus answered and said, before, before Philip even called you, I saw you under a fig tree. Philip answered, Rabbi, you're the son of God. You're the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said, do you believe because I told you I saw you under a fig tree? You'll see greater things than this. He said to me, amen, amen, I say to you, you'll see the heavens open, the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Gospel of the Lord. I don't know how many of you stayed up to watch, but last night we had the, the first debate among the Republican candidates for president of the United States, the beginning of what seems like an, an eternal process that will last from now till next November. And I don't, I don't stay up that late watching TV. I get up by four in the morning, so I'm not up at 11 o'clock at night, but I sat there watching the beginning of it, and I only have one question on my mind. Who in their right mind would want to be president of the United States of America? Who in their right mind? I mean, you watch Biden, and we get to see it up hand and close. You know, you want to go over to 2400 block in North Washington, you see it even more closely. And I mean, for the rest of his or her life, every step that person takes will be guarded by Secret Service. Who, who would want, I mean, he goes to the bathroom, there must be somebody who goes with him or her. Who'd, who'd want that? Maybe some people just have a thirst for power. I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing, the Reverend Cyril D. Edwards wouldn't want it for a billion dollars. And that's the apostles. I think Bartholomew has won him. They, they didn't gravitate towards power, being the, the selected 12. In fact, Nathaniel, which is the other name of Bartholomew, was like, what, 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 what's this? Why, why do you want me? They were fishermen. One was a tax collector, which means a hated enemy of the Jewish people. They were nobodies. They were losers. The exact opposite of what we get running for president. Powerful entrepreneurs, senators, lawyers, doctors. They were nobodies. The apostles were nobodies. Yet what they helped to build from the ground up 2,000 years later, we are still here because of the foundation that they helped to build with Jesus as the capstone of the building and their bloodshed as the, the mortar between the bricks on the building. I, I'm not sure if America is going to survive 2,000 years. I worry about our country, and so do you. The church who 1,000 years later is still here. Jesus' blood bought it. Their blood built it. Our love must continue to expand it today. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. For the church, that she may inspire us to live in faith and confidence, that their decisions may advance the common good, fill the hungry, and lift up the lowly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Anthony Walsh, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Oh God, we beg you to hear our prayers. Let us follow the example of Bartholomew, following you always. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the Feast of Bartholomew, your Apostle, Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of this Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, you built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. And so for ages and ending, with all the angels, we praise you as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. As we celebrate this feast of the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, Lord. We pray that it may be a help for us now and in the life to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.